What's going on guys? Welcome back to Max Bone Yard Builds. So now that we have the 98 OBS GMT 400 Silverado, whatever you want to call it, LS swap. Now that we have that complete, it's moving under its own power. I'm working on a few small things here and there, but it is running and it's actually running pretty good. What we're going to do is we're going to jump on this interior. It is nasty. The seats are in really good condition. Headliner is in really good condition. However, man, this carpet, something has died in here. I don't know if old boy that owned this before, if his spit cup fell over like 313 times. I don't know, but it is nasty. So what we're going to do is we're going to jump in. We're going to take out the seats and stuff. We're going to work on getting this carpet out of here. We're going to get everything cleaned up, get all the little treasures underneath the seats and stuff all vacuumed out, get all that cleaned up. Check out the floor pans. They look great on the underside. I'm sure they look just as good on the top side and uh, see if we can't transform the inside of this make it a little more presentable and not as stinky So just as a reminder, I mean, this carpet should be like light gray. There you can see a small remnants of the color it should be, but it is just horrific. Horrific. I don't know if it never saw a vacuum in the day of its life or if old boy, uh, what profession he had or what, but man, it it is bad and it's that way even even in the back the stains and the, what's i mean it's just sorry for the lighting guys a little a uh, little dark trying to use a flashlight here to help you out it's it's just bad all over oh squeeze in all over everywhere is just just gross it's it's just gross but like I said, the seats, seats are good. Seats are nice, plush, they're not torn up. All the way across, like I said, the seats are the big thing. Carpet, if we have to, we're gonna try and clean it. If it doesn't work, we'll just replace it. But the seats are good. This one's got some nasty going on there in a the crack. We should be able to get that out. The uh, center console, got a few uh, trim, trim screws there. Whenever I replace the shift cable, uh, had to take off this lower kick panel here so those are the ones that go onto the underside I knew this was this day was coming so I didn't put them back but the console should clean up nice the dash and everything's not cracked up or anything so that should all clean up nice but man this this carpet whew, baby all right let's get to work first order of business we're gonna jump in here got some 15s on each corner front and we're gonna move the seat all the way forward, flip it up, grab the ones in the back. There should be four on each one. Get this front seat, front passenger seat. Let's get them out of here. these passenger sides you can look around can't find your bolts they got these little covers take some Phillips take those Phillips off there's your bolt underneath
All right, as he's uh, straining his <laughs> teenage arms. Wow, thank you. You're welcome. The center console looks like all you're gonna do is take this up. Looks like you got a couple, uh, maybe seven mils. I haven't measured them yet, but you got a couple down here. And then you're gonna slide this back tray out for the back seat, but then you're going to squeeze it so that way it gets past. Hopefully, I can squeeze tight enough. And then that exposes this bracket. It looks like it just slips over the top right here. So once we get these two out, it should just come forward, come right out. All right, guys, in case you're keeping bolt count, these are actually 10 mils. They're not sevens. I stand corrected. All right, guys, once you get those two bolts out, you get this out of the way, lift up slightly, give it a shake forward, and it's free. Alright folks, we moved to the back. We started cleaning things up. We were taking the jack box out of there. There is a... Uh, How do you do this? You just Yeah, just keep spinning. There's a bolt right here. Super easy to get to. Right here, we couldn't quite figure it out. And we were hunting and hunting and hunting. And hold on, I'm twisting it now. I gotta re-grip it. Anyways, that whole Oops. rod actually comes out of there don't bend the rod <laughs> the whole rod comes out of there instead of another bolt so I just wanted to throw that little tidbit in there take the rod out then it'll all lift up And there it is. Everything's out of the way. We can start ripping this carpet up now. Uh, whenever we were pulling that jack box housing, the bolt on the underside, I guess it gave way or something. And of course it's blocked by a cab support. So it just got worked up and over through the box. But as you can see, this carpet is nine times as disgusting as a full ecosystem and uh evolution of man started in this carpet i believe so uh we're gonna get this pulled out and then we will uh get to cleaning up everything that's underneath it That, ladies and gentlemen, is one nasty carpet. Holy cow, I don't know. I don't even think the power washer is going to save that one. I think we're just going to spend a couple hundred bucks and uh, buy a new one because that's gross. But, on the flip of the coin, let's check out the, uh, let's check out the floor pan, see what it looks like. Check out that floor pan. That thing looks as good as the day it came off the factory floor. Holy cow. Gonna do a little bit of cleaning, a little bit of spick and span. That back seat did not have to come out to get the carpet out. Uh, we may keep pushing forward and get these last few back panels out, but the carpet came out without it, so 
right now today we just wanted to make sure and try and get the carpet out see what the this condition was which is fabulous and then Ben's gonna get out here with a vacuum and continue picking up the rest of his change and order some new carpet and get it put in all right guys we've been out here about two and a half hours uh, got this super disgusting carpet pulled out but the inside that OBS the floor pans and everything look as perfect as the day that they came off the assembly line uh, we're both hot and sweaty we got a few things to do this afternoon so we're gonna call it quits for now get the rest of that cleaned up we're going to work on cleaning up the seats that driver's seat uh, bracket or something's broken we're gonna figure that out uh, I'm gonna get some new carpet ordered that usually takes a week or so to get in uh, I think I'm not even gonna try and power wash this I was gonna try and do a series on cleaning the carpet it smells horribly it's it's bad it's bad me and the boy both have to go in and take showers with some Ajax or something to scrub ourselves out. It is nasty. So the carpet's going bye-bye. We're going to order some new, get the inside cleaned up, get the carpet back in, get the seats back in, get everything buttoned up. Deep, clean detail. We're going to go through that series. And then the inside's going to be done. And then uh, by that time, it should be cold outside. And then uh, we'll have to do probably paint in the spring, but the OBS project's still coming along. I appreciate all of you for stopping by. If you haven't yet, hit that subscribe button. Uh, keep liking, commenting, whatever you want. I'll try and answer. Otherwise, I'll see you guys next time.